I'm Kev. And I'm Steve. And we're from the internet. Want an extra episode of We're From The Internet every week? Head over to we'refromtheinternet.com slash bonus to get an exclusive weekly bonus episode 100% free. What's your favourite dinosaur? Baby. Baby, what, the one from Dinosaurs? That's what the question's asking, isn't it? No. Not the mama, not the mama, and just keeps hitting sheepdog with his My friend spoon. used to say I look like him. You do look what the the kid or the dad? The, the kid. You do. You look a bit like <laughs> you're sort of a cross between the two. Your yeah. baby, fully grown. Is that what you are? Are you full grown baby? <laughs> I am. That's where he's been all these years. I what for some reason I ended up watching a couple of episodes of Dinosaurs yeah, on you YouTube them... last year. Why was I watching that? Did you make me watch? That? No, I think we were talking about them. You just started playing them, and then I introduced them to my kids, and we really enjoyed them. We watched a lot of them. Um, what was the deal with the teenage one who wore the, the jacket? He was trying to be Bart Simpson, wasn't he? Yeah, Bart really, Simpson's hair and everything. I didn't really care for him. What was that whole programme based on The Simpsons? It must have been. So it was pretty much a Simpsons dynamic going on there, wasn't it? A Simpsons rip-off. Pretty much. Who'd have thought we should do a Simpsons rip-off? I pretty much live a Simpsons rip-off. Uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm only one kid away. You're more of a family guy ripper. That's what my dad said the other day. Yeah. That's really insulting. You are, though. <laughs> you, you're you more Peter Griffin than Homer Simpson. You've just got more of his... I've done more of Homer Simpson's shenanigans. That's only because he's been shenaniganing for longer. Peter Griffin's more of a... I think he'll get there. And I think you're modelling your life after him. Well, my looks, at least. Yeah, you have got the Griffin hairstyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got the. You always wear the the white shirt and the trousers, like I both do. of them do. Yeah. Why don't you start pulling the the white shirt and trousers look? I think that's it's got, it's got. America coming, has surely. been telling me all this time that I should be. Yeah. Um, so back on to favorite dinosaurs. Baby. Next question. Well, no, I, I um, my son's obsessed with dinosaurs, and I recently decided that Ankylosaurus is the best one. Explain. Because it's basically made of armor. And its uh, tail is just like a wrecking ball, or two wrecking balls on his tail. It just smashes Miley people. Miley Cyrus hanging onto one of them. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, but yeah, it, he sort of picked it up as one he really liked, because it just smashes its tail on the floor. And then uh, I saw a toy, I wanted to thought they are pretty awesome. I have a question. Go on. How do we know what they look like? How do we know it was made of armour? I don't know. We don't... Uh, surely, I, I realise they've found some bones. <laughs> I know what you mean. But no, everything's rotted this. off them, so they could have just had human skin. Well, yeah, I mean, he's Have got a toy T Rex. I don't think so. He's got a toy T Rex that's orange, and my wife said, That's not the right colour. And I was like, Well, it could have been. We don't know. They could have been furry. They meant to have had feathers, didn't they? Wouldn't it have been brilliant if they were furry or woolly like sheep? They had feathers. How do you know? You again, because I found them know. with feathers on them. Yeah, it could have just been wearing a headscarf. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> a, a feather eating boa. a bird and yeah, died. Exactly. But. I'd, I'd, I would like to bring out a range of dinosaur toys where they're all furry. Do it then. I think I will. What should we call them? The furry saws. The dino furs. <laughs> the furry saws sounds fine. Yeah, the furry saws. The ferocious furry saws. Ooh, now it's appealing to both boys and girls. Yeah. We've got our marketing hats on. Now all we need to do is add some wheels and <laughs> <laughs> some kind of computer type dealy. And I think we're there. Sounds good. Sounds like some sort of talking hat or something, I don't know. What is the, right, dinosaurs in general? I yep. need you to explain it to me because I've never got it. You say your, your miniature person is into them. Yep. Why? What is it? I, I've, I've never seen it. I'm not interested. I never have It's probably been. just because I roar in his face a lot and now what, he does he think you're a dinosaur? dinosaurs. He thinks he's a dinosaur. Why though? I don't know. He just thinks he's a dinosaur. He like also dinosaurs. thinks he's a dog sometimes. When you go to museums, do you look at all the boring dinosaur bones? I'll go and have a look, but I'm not into them. Into them. I, I, I'll watch Jurassic Park. Because when... See, I didn't even really like that. It was just a bit... I stupid. think it all came from... He could say what sounded like door, and I was like, that's almost dinosaur. And I taught him dinosaur, and that was one of his first words. <laughs> Pretty much his first word, other than door. Um, and so it just stuck in his head as a thing. Because I feel like when you go to the museum in London, the big one with the dinosaurs in, that's just a dinosaur museum. Is there anything else there? It's a natural history museum. Yeah, but it's just dinosaurs. That giant whale, isn't it? 
Yeah, but it's basically a dinosaur that swims. They have a giant, um, I don't know if it's the moon or the sun or Stop, what. No, giant animals are dinosaurs. That's a planet. They've got, oh, they've got a giant... Mm, they haven't got the moon in the natural history Well, they museum. have like a model of it. A scale that, model. Yeah, that's just a ball, surely. Um, they had a mammoth in there. Dinosaur. I saw it, it like an actual real life mammoth. Yeah, dinosaur. But it was real. I mean, it was real. It was there. It wasn't alive. Moving around. No, it was in a, a, a glass um, case. And you can see its hair and the shape Ow. of it and everything. Uh, they found it nice and they just decided to. It was Russian and they just stuck it in If the case. dinosaurs really existed, why haven't we found any of them in ice? I guess it got really, really hot before they. But weren't they around at the same time as the mammoths? No. But they were both in the Flintstones. Yeah, that's that's just one of those things that I guess the the time travelling spaceman probably brought them back. Mammoths and humans existed at the same time. Yeah, in the Flintstones with dinosaurs. <laughs> All yeah. at the same time. Humans kept dinosaurs as pets. They rode to then they rode around on mammoths. They got massive ribs on the side of the car, made the car tip over. That scene, you should do my head in, because I knew I'd never get a rib that big. It would just be like... (sighs) Well, they were perhaps normal-sized ribs. No one has ever proven the Flintstones weren't tiny. The Flintstones could have been descendants of the borrowers. We should be writing a a, a thesis on this. That's basically what we're... we're, It's spitballing ideas. This whole show is just a big, long thesis. We're basically writing people's dissertations for him yeah i i i struggle to believe the dinosaurs existed because i've not seen any evidence of them myself sure, they've got a few bones but to be honest how do they know what order to put the bones together in That's i could time they find him in that i order, could hang they? around outside kfc and get a bag of bones and assemble them to look like a dinosaur you could i think they, that make me a i think they just stick them all in a sack until they find one that's like you know died on its side and could we mess with science by hang, going back to the hanging around outside KFC idea, get a bag of bones, get a load of clay, and just sort of put them in an arrangement in clay, let that set, bury that under a field somewhere, preferably a field where we know there's going to be a housing development soon, but put them like two feet down so it looks like they've been there a few years, and then they dig them up and suddenly there's a new dinosaur discovery. Was I with you or was I with my wife when this old man was telling us that they frequently discover mammoths and dinosaurs just down the road from us? That's what Flag Fen is all about, isn't it? No, that was some sort of Saxon place. Was it? I yeah, it was there's no the dinosaurs bones. there. Well, yeah, Saxons, bones, what's the difference? Well, that's just a house from like Saxon times. Is I that think. all it is? Something like that. Because we went to try and see that once and we, we turned away. But, um, yeah, so they've somewhere, been digging Maxi there or something, for I don't the last know. 40 years just to dig up someone's house. I don't know, some sort of building. What's the point? I don't know. Because it's hist- historical and stuff, isn't it, I suppose. They just, they're probably hoping they find a few gold coins and then they can finally retire from the old digging go- again. Do dinosaurs have gold coins? No, the Saxons probably did. How old are the Saxons? Not as old as the dinosaurs. Yeah, but how old? After the Romans. After, see, now you're confused, because Saxons are like the Flintstones and they have bones <laughs> and stuff. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're before the Vikings. So were the Vikings before or after the Romans? After. But they're all in civilization at the same time and trying Pretty to kill much. each other. Well, yeah, but civilization has Gandhi in it, and yeah, uh, so I Napoleon associate him with the Romans. But he was Vikings. alive like fifty years ago, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it also has like Hitler in it, doesn't it? I don't think it has Hitler in it. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it has every great civilization's <laughs> most famous leader, which I suppose you could argue for Germany that would be Hitler. But believe it or not, he's not in the game. Well, since when was Gandhi one of someone's most it's India? Was he their leader? Yeah. He was just a nice fellow who wandered around in glasses. See, now who knows history? (laughs) I win at history. Want to help us spread the we're from the internet word? Leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and Stitcher would give us a nice little boost in the search results and help new listeners find us. (laughs) 